Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from NBWA base in Las Vegas. The centerpiece of the show this year is an airplane that probably the people that founded NBA never thought would uh, would ever materialize at a show like this. This is Joby's uh, new eVTOL. It was front and center for the announcement by uh, the FAA that uh, new operating rules have been uh, uh, formed for the uh, uh, eVTOL uh, advanced air mobility sort of uh, regime. And uh, here to tell us all about this aircraft and how it's going to integrate into, into society is uh, Garrett Smith. He's a chief pilot for uh, Joby Aviation and away we go. So our airplane uh, is piloted uh, conventionally by a trained pilot. Um, four passenger seats and then one pilot seat sits in the front. Um, the flight control logic on airplane is really cool. So we use the unified flight control logic, which essentially is the same as the F-35B. So some of our senior test pilots, for example, wrote original white papers on the flight control logic that our airplane uses called Unified some decades ago. The F-35B adopted it, and something similar to that is in our airplane. Yeah, so this airplane is, is primarily designed as an urban air taxi, right? So it has a 100 nautical mile range. Um, very rarely would we ask that range of the airplane because it's an urban air taxi. So think about spanning city centers. So let's say I'm in JFK and I want to get to Midtown Manhattan. A flight such as that would take six to eight minutes in this airplane, where conventionally it might take an hour and a half to drive uh, on, on the roads. So that's where the time equation savings really comes. Or perhaps you're at a you're in Santa Ana and you need to go to Burbank for a business meeting. Those are the types of missions that this airplane uh, is designed for. And for those types of missions, we're talking sub 10 minute charging times uh, to facilitate those missions. Infrastructure, we have an entire team devoted to that, doing amazing work on infrastructure. We can use existing heliports. Uh, the airplane is fully capable of that, right? They'd have to be outfitted with electrification, but existing heliports. And then also, we're looking at greenfield sites uh, and new sites as well. Uh, one aspect to this airplane is that it's so quiet. So um, we're 65 decibels in cruise, which is much the same as like a commercial air conditioning unit, right? And the quality of the sound um, is, is very unique. In fact, that it's a low pitch. It's like kind of winds, uh, leaves in the, in the breeze type noise that the sound emits. In fact, we have a, a noise station over here where folks can put on headphones and listen uh, to the qualities of our airplane uh, sound-wise compared to helicopters and conventional fixed-wing airplanes. So what the lower noise signature would allow us to do is to get folks in closer to their final destinations as compared with conventional uh, helicopters, you might say. Where again, we're 100 times quieter than, than a helicopter. Pretty significant.